Our oceans are full of some truly terrifying life. Here's some sea creatures which have been known to attack humans, and the last one is responsible for up to 100 deaths per year. And no, it isn't a shark. The Humboldt squid, also known as the Jumbo squid and Red Devil, is a large and highly migratory cephalopod found in the eastern Pacific Ocean, particularly along the coasts of North, Central and South America. Named after the Humboldt current, which influences its distribution, these squids inhabit both deep and shallow waters, showcasing their adaptability to various oceanic environments. Humboldt squids are formidable in size, with individuals reaching lengths of up to 1.5 meters and weighing as much as 45 kilograms or seven stone. Their cylindrical bodies are equipped with powerful tentacles, each lined with suckers and hooks, and they are known for their remarkable ability to change color, ranging from reddish brown to pink or white depending on their mood and environment. One fascinating aspect of the Humboldt squid's biology is their ability to undergo rapid growth and reproductive cycles. The hunting strategy of the Humboldt squid is dynamic and cooperative. These highly social creatures are known to form large organized groups or shoals to effectively enclose and capture prey. Utilizing their keen senses, including excellent eyesight and the ability to detect electrical signals, they target a variety of prey including fish, crustaceans, and even other squid species. Their diet is diverse, and Humboldt squids are known for their opportunistic feeding habits. They are capable of rapid and aggressive attacks on schools of fish, using their beak-like mouths to tear apart their prey. Humboldt squids have been known to exhibit aggressive behavior when approached, especially in groups. In certain instances, there have been recorded attacks on fishermen and divers, using their beaks and tentacles. This is generally considered more of a defensive act, and whilst there are stories of fishermen falling into the Red Devil Shoals, never to be seen again, there have been no officially recorded human deaths from Humboldt squid attacks, and there is little evidence to suggest that these squid actively seek humans. But sea creatures don't have to be large to be dangerous, and the next one on our list is the perfect example that in the ocean, size often doesn't matter. The cookie cutter shark is a small yet fascinating deep sea shark found in tropical and subtropical waters around the world. Typically measuring only 40 to 50 centimeters in length, these sharks have earned their name from their unique feeding behavior, which involves gouging circular plugs of flesh resembling cookie shapes from larger marine animals. This species primarily dwells at depths ranging from 200 to 1000 meters. Despite their small size, cookie cutter sharks possess an ingenious hunting strategy. They approach larger animals such as whales, dolphins and larger fish using their specialized suction-like lips and sharp blade-like teeth. Cookie cutter sharks latch onto their prey, rotating their bodies to extract cylindrical plugs of flesh. This method allows them to consume nutritious tissue without expending excessive energy on a prolonged chase. They have also evolved other unique adaptations, including photophores along their bodies, which may help camouflage them in deep sea environments. Whilst they are known for their distinctive feeding behavior on larger animals, they are opportunistic feeders and will scavenge on carcasses as well. Cookie cutter sharks generally pose little direct danger to humans due to their deep sea habitat, but they occasionally ascend to the shallower waters at night in search of prey. And whilst there, they have been known to attack humans. They've been known to damage submarines and even undersea cables, occasionally mistaking the materials used in these man-made structures for the skin of their prey, leading to characteristic circular wounds in the equipment. We can be thankful that seeing these creatures in shallow waters is rare, unlike the next creature on our list which can commonly be found in waters seemingly suitable for a bit of swimming. Sea snakes are a diverse group of venomous snakes that have adapted to marine environments. They are found in warm coastal waters throughout the Indian and Pacific Oceans, including the Red Sea, the Arabian Sea, and the waters around Southeast Asia, Australia, and the Pacific Islands. Unlike their terrestrial counterparts, sea snakes have a flattened tail for efficient swimming and can stay submerged for extended periods, relying on specialized nostrils located on the tops of their heads for breathing. The size of sea snakes vary among species, with some reaching lengths of up to 3 meters. They exhibit a wide range of coloration, 
often featuring vibrant patterns that age in camouflage among coral reefs and seagrass beds. Sea snakes primarily hunt fish and other aquatic prey, using a combination of stealth and venom. They are equipped with potent venom that is injected through grooved fangs along the rear of their mouths. They are excellent hunters, utilising their keen sense of smell and specialised vision to locate prey in underwater environments. While sea snakes possess venom capable of harming humans, these snakes are not known to actively seek out human encounters. Bites usually occur when individuals inadvertently come into contact with sea snakes, such as during fishing activities or while swimming. The beaked sea snake is often considered one of the most dangerous sea snakes due to the potency of its venom and more aggressive temperament. The beaked sea snake is found in the coastal waters of the Indian Ocean and the Western Pacific Ocean. It possesses a highly toxic venom that primarily consists of potent neurotoxins. A bite from this snake can lead to symptoms such as paralysis, respiratory failure, and if not treated promptly, can result in death. What makes the beak sea snake particularly concerning is its behaviour. Unlike some other sea snakes that are relatively docile and avoid human contact, the beak sea snake can be more hostile, especially when threatened. This, combined with its highly toxic venom, increases the potential danger to humans if bitten. The next creature on our list may not have venom, but arguably has even scarier teeth. The sea lamprey is an ancient and terrifying parasitic fish found in coastal and fresh waters of the northern hemisphere, including the North Atlantic Ocean and its connected waterways. Recognised for its eel-like appearance and round mouth filled with teeth, this jawless fish plays a crucial role in the aquatic ecosystem, albeit with a notorious reputation for its parasitic feeding habits. Measuring between 12 to 20 inches in length, sea lampreys possess a disc-shaped mouth filled with sharp horn teeth and a rasping tongue. Their hunting strategy involves attaching to the bodies of larger fish, such as salmon and trout, using their suction cup-like mouth and sharp teeth. Once attached, the lamprey feeds on the host's bodily fluids and tissues, often causing wounds that can weaken or even kill the host fish. The diet of sea lampreys is parasitic in nature, and they are notorious for their impact on commercially viable fish populations. As such, their presence in waterways can have significant economic implications for the fishing industry. Efforts to control sea lamprey populations have been implemented in various regions, mitigating their impact on fish populations. This includes trapping and sterilising adult lampreys, and applying selective chemical treatments to control their larva production in spawning areas. Lampreys naturally target cold-blooded creatures, however they have been known to latch onto human hosts as well, requiring significant force to remove. This is likely a result of confusion or potentially intense hunger. And whilst the mere appearance of the lamprey's toothy mouth shouts danger, the threat posed by the next creature on our list is not quite as obvious. The stonefish is a master of camouflage and one of the most venomous fish. Found in the Indo-Pacific region, particularly in the waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, including the Great Barrier Reef, Red Sea and coastal regions of Australia. Its name is derived from its remarkable ability to resemble a rock or coral, making it exceptionally difficult to spot. Measuring between 30 to 40 centimetres in length, the stonefish has a flattened, wide body, covered in wart-like bumps and a mottled appearance, allowing it to seamlessly blend into its surroundings. Its hunting strategy capitalises on the cryptic appearance. It lies motionless on the ocean floor, waiting for prey to come close. The stonefish is an ambush predator, using its impressive camouflage to wait patiently for unsuspecting prey, such as small fish and crustaceans, to swim by. Once within striking range, the stonefish quickly lunges forward and engulfs its prey with its large mouth, aided by a rapid vacuum-like suction. Aside from its hunting prowess, the stonefish is notorious for its potent venom. Located in its dorsal spines, the venom contains toxins that can cause intense pain and, in severe cases, even death. The spines are sharp and capable of injecting venom when pressure is applied, making encounters with these fish extremely hazardous. Stonefish are a real danger to humans, especially in shallow coastal waters where people may inadvertently step on them. Due to their remarkable ability to camouflage, swimmers and divers are advised to exercise extreme caution in areas known to be inhabited by stonefish. 
Prompt medical attention is crucial if a sting occurs, as antivenom and supportive care are often necessary for a full recovery. Despite their fearsome reputation, stonefish contribute to the delicate balance of marine ecosystems, and their incredible camouflage and venomous defence mechanisms serve as a fascinating survival strategy in their underwater habitats. But the next creature on our list isn't quite as bothered about staying hidden. The blue ringed octopus is a small yet highly venomous cephalopod found in the warm coastal waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, particularly around Australia, Indonesia, Japan and the Philippines. Despite their small size, with an average arm span of 12 to 20 centimetres, these octopus possess striking, iridescent blue rings on their skin when agitated or threatened. Known for their vibrant appearance, the blue ringed octopus has a unique and potentially deadly hunting strategy. Unlike many octopus species that rely on agility and strength, these cephalopods are sit and wait predators. They use their excellent camouflage abilities to blend into their surroundings, revealing their dazzling blue rings as a warning when provoked. The rings serve as a signal that the octopus is ready to deliver a potent venomous bite if necessary. The diet of the blue ringed octopus primarily consists of small crustaceans, crabs and small fish. They use their beak-like mouths to inject venom into their prey, paralysing it before they use their radula to scrape and consume the flesh. Despite their alluring appearance, the blue ringed octopus poses a significant danger to humans. Their venom contains potent neurotoxins that can lead to respiratory failure and death within minutes. Encounters with humans are rare, and these octopus are generally reclusive, but caution is crucial when exploring their habitat. Their bites are often painless, and victims may not be immediately aware of the severity of their envenomation. It's believed there have been at least 11 deaths resulting from blue ringed octopus stings. But the next creature on our list is even more extroverted, and poses a threat not only to humans, but also to many of the marine environments it inhabits. The lionfish is a visually stunning but ecologically problematic species found in the Indo-Pacific region, the Red Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Native to the coral reefs of the South Pacific and Indian Ocean, lionfish have become an invasive species in the Atlantic, particularly along the southeast coast of the United States and the Caribbean. Lionfish are characterised by their vibrant coloration, long flowing fins and venomous spines. Typically they reach sizes of 30 to 40 centimetres, although some individuals can grow larger. Despite their elegant appearance, lionfish are ferocious predators with a unique hunting strategy. Using their pectoral fins to coral prey, they employ a powerful suction motion to engulf smaller fish and invertebrates. This predatory behaviour has made them a significant threat to native marine ecosystems, as they outcompete local species for resources. The diet of lionfish is diverse, and includes small fish, crustaceans and mollusks. Their indiscriminate appetite and lack of natural predators in the invaded regions contributes to their ecological impact. Their venomous spines can cause extremely painful stings to humans. The venom, located in the spines along their dorsal, pelvic and anal fins, can result in swelling, nausea and even cardiovascular complications in extreme cases. Extreme caution is advised when handling or encountering lionfish to avoid accidental stings. Efforts to control the spread of lionfish include culling initiatives and encouraging the consumption of lionfish as a sustainable seafood option. The lionfish may resemble the mane of a lion, but it's perhaps the next creature on our list which shares the lion's teeth. The fangtooth is a remarkable species of moray eel. Found in the warm tropical and subtropical waters of the Indo-Pacific region, including the Red Sea, the coasts of East Africa and the islands of the Pacific Ocean. These eels inhabit coral reefs, rocky crevices and lagoons, often hiding among the intricate structures of their underwater environments. Measuring up to 80 centimetres in length, the fangtooth moray is characterised by its distinctive appearance. It has a serpentine body, covered in mottled patterns, and its most striking feature are its disproportionately large, sharp teeth, which give it a formidable and menacing look. The fangtooth is a nocturnal hunter, using its excellent sense of smell and keen eyesight to locate prey in the dark. As an ambush predator, it relies on the element of surprise to capture small fish, crustaceans and cephalopods. Once a potential meal is within striking distance, the fangtooth lunges forward, seizing its prey with its powerful jaws. The diet of the fangtooth primarily consists of small fish, crabs and other invertebrates. 
Their impressive set of teeth serve not only as a tool for capturing prey, but also for crushing the hard exoskeletons of crustaceans. Interestingly, fangtooth, like other moray eels, have a unique mode of respiration. They open and close their mouths to pump water over their gills, extracting oxygen for breathing. This adaptation allows them to remain concealed in tight spaces whilst maintaining an efficient respiratory process. Despite their intimidating appearance, like many eels they are shy creatures and will usually hide from danger rather than attack. However, caution is advised. Their great ability to hide means divers can easily invade their space without realising, and moray eels will bite defensively if they feel threatened. As a result, there have been numerous attacks on humans reported and filmed. Even so, I'd much rather be swimming near a fangtooth than I would the last creature on our list. The box jellyfish is a highly venomous marine creature found primarily in the coastal waters of the Indo-Pacific region, including the waters around Australia, Thailand, Malaysia and Vietnam. Known for its translucent bell-shaped body and cube-like structure, this species is considered one of the most venomous jellyfish in the world. The box jellyfish's bell can reach sizes of up to 30 centimeters in diameter. Each of its four sides bears up to 15 tentacles, which can extend to lengths of several feet. These tentacles contain thousands of specialized cells, equipped with harpoon-like structures that release toxins upon contact. The hunting strategy of the box jellyfish is passive, relying on its tentacles to capture prey that comes in contact with them. The tentacles are armed with powerful toxins that immobilize and subdue small fish and invertebrates. The box jellyfish then uses its oral arms located beneath the bell to transport the captured prey to its mouth. The diet of the box jellyfish mainly consists of small fish and invertebrates. Their venom serves both as a means of defense against potential threats and as a tool for subduing prey. The venom of the box jellyfish is extremely potent and can cause severe pain, cardiovascular collapse and, in extreme cases, death. The sting is often excruciating and can lead to cardiac arrest within minutes. This results in around 50 to 100 deaths each year from box jellyfish stings. Due to the urgency of treatment, swimmers are advised to exercise extreme caution in waters where box jellyfish are known to inhabit and wear protective clothing to reduce the risk of stings. Conservation efforts and public awareness campaigns have been implemented to reduce the incidence of box jellyfish stings and improve treatment outcomes. But it's not always the scary creatures which are the strangest. And if you want to learn more about the most peculiar inhabitants of our oceans, then you need to watch my video here, where I look at a range of creatures with some unbelievable adaptations.